Hello, my friend. It's so good to be with you again this week. Have you ever done something wrong? Maybe you didn't want to share your toys with your brother or sister and you got angry and yelled at them. Or maybe you forgot to do something you were supposed to do and you got scared so you lied and said you did it even when you didn't. We all do things wrong sometimes. People have been doing things wrong for as long as there have been people. Especially when we're feeling angry or when we're feeling scared. But you know what? God still loves us. We see that in our story today. It's about Adam and Eve, whom we met last week. And it goes like this. In the middle of the Garden of Eden grew a very special tree. God said to Adam, you must not eat the fruit from this tree. In the garden lived a serpent that liked to make mischief. The serpent said to Eve, if you eat the fruit from this tree, you will become like God. You will know everything. The fruit looked ripe and juicy. So Eve picked one and tasted it. Then she handed it to Adam and he ate too. As they chewed, the fruit began to taste bitter and their smiles turned to frowns. That evening, God walked in the garden and called to them, Adam, Eve, where are you? But Adam and Eve were hiding. They were afraid because they had disobeyed God. Why are you hiding from me? God said. Did you eat from the tree in the middle of the garden? Eve made me do it, said Adam. The serpent made me do it, said Eve. God let out a deep, disappointed sigh, like the wind in the trees at night. Not only had they disobeyed God, they did not even say they were sorry. God punished the serpent and Adam and Eve had to leave the glorious garden. From then on, they had to work hard in the fields to grow food. But God still loved them and watched over them wherever they went. The end. Life got harder for Adam and Eve because they didn't do what they were supposed to. And life can be hard for us too, especially right now when there are so many new rules. We have to stay apart from each other. We have to wear masks. And it can be really scary and can make us angry. And sometimes even grown-ups will say, I just don't want to wear my mask or I just want to play with my friends. Even though we know it's not what we're supposed to do right now. But God still loves us. Even when we make mistakes, even when we do the wrong thing, God will always love us. So maybe that can help us be a little less scared and a little less angry. Because you know what? When other people do wrong things, God still loves them too. So we just keep trying our best to do what's right and keep remembering that we are loved no matter what. Now let us close with the prayer at the end of the story in the big letters, which you can read with me or have a grown-up read with me. Dear God, help me to do what is right and to remember you love me even when I do wrong. 
Amen. This story comes from the Children of God Storybook Bible by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Illustrations for this story are by Stefano Vitale from Italy.